Hello, my good children. Welcome back. Um, in our previous lesson, we learned how to construct some angles, and we are continuing from there. We learned how to construct the angle of 60 degrees, and we say to construct 60 degrees, you start to construct 60 degrees. We want to construct 30 degrees, but let us start with the angle of 60, because it's the one that gives us the 30 degrees. So you start by drawing your line, which I'm calling the starting line. Mark a point on that line, and get your pair of compasses. Draw an arc. This time, let me construct it on this side. Draw an arc there. Draw an arc there. And then without changing the radius, place your pair of compasses at that point where the arc cuts the line and draw another arc to cut the first arc. That angle that we have constructed when we join, we have two angles which we learned in our previous lesson. We have two angles formed, the angle of, of 60 degrees and the angle of 120 degrees. But we are constructing the angle of 30 degrees. So to construct that angle of 30 degrees, bisect, this is not a new word, bisect 60 degrees. So when you bisect 60 degrees, you don't need to write this. I'm only writing it to remind you. So we are going to bisect this other angle here. Once I have uh, the two points, this point and that point, let me see whether they are the same distance. They are the same distance. So I, you can simply center at that point and carefully reduce or increase on the radius of your compass and describe an arc there or draw an arc and with the center there, draw an arc to meet the first arc. So there is a point here. That point, you join it to the starting point. And you have bisected. You have divided the 60 degrees into two equal angles. Now, that angle normally indicates the one below. So that angle is the angle of 30 degrees. The angle of 30 degrees. The angle of 30 degrees. Now, before I move to the next angle down here, we can also construct an angle of 15 degrees. I think we shall look at that one, the other side. So let us proceed. From 30 degrees, we now have another angle of 150 degrees. This angle also still comes from 60. 60 to 30 degrees. What does that mean? To construct 150, um, construct, construct 30 degrees and take it as supplement. And take uh, it as supplement. The supplement of 30 degrees is 150 degrees. How do we do that? Step one, draw your starting line, mark your starting point, always mark a starting point, construct 
the angle of 60 degrees. 60 is the mother of these other angles. 30, 120 are all produced by 60. So draw an arc. This time I'll put it on that side. We are getting the angle of 60 degrees without changing the radius, draw also that one, that arc to meet. Now, I want to uh, show you something small. If you don't want to have these very many lines, we can only have that arc. Yes, have that arc. Then, just the center there and there. Place your compass there where the arcs are meeting, and describe another arc this side. And without adjusting, center the compass there, and draw another arc there. So we have this point and that point to join. I have left out this line. So join join. So after joining, girls and boys, the angle below here is 30 degrees. Then the other supplementary angle to make this straight line is one uh, is 150 degrees. So but what do we need? We need 150 degrees. Do not indicate the 30, but indicate the required angle. 150 degrees. Remember, I did not put this line. But how, however, even if you put it there, when you are curving, when you are showing your angle, it must start from that line going that side. So that is 150 degrees. When we are asked to construct an angle of 150 degrees, don't scratch your head a lot. Just ask yourself, what is the supplement of 150? The supplement of 150 is 30. Can I construct 30? Yes, you construct 30, and you take the other side, which is not 30. That will be your 150 degrees. Um, from the same family of 60, we can get an angle of 15 degrees, like I was telling you. We can construct an angle of 15 degrees. However, before you construct the angle of 15 degrees, there are some angles that cannot be constructed with a compass. Many angles, like 40, 40 degrees, 50 degrees, we cannot use a compass to construct those ones. So how do we construct 15 degrees? Ah, our mother angle is 60. Uh, 60. Let me just write a small statement here. To construct 15 degrees, construct, construct 30 degrees. And after constructing 30 degrees, bisect it. Bisect it to get 15 degrees. So when I say that, already people have started constructing. Construct 30, bisect it to get 15 degrees. How do I construct 30? Draw your starting line. Mark the starting point. Construct 60. Construct an angle of 60 degrees. Again, let me change. I'm constructing on this side. Construct 60 degrees. If you are watching, please do it with me. Right. So, again, I'm going to use the same style here because I don't want very many lines. When we join this, the angle we get here is 60 degrees. But I'm not going to join. So what am I going to do? 
to bisect bisect 60 you're now seeing what I'm doing I have sent put my compass pointer here to make that arc then I'm putting it also there to create that arc that means when we join like that when we carefully join join the angle that we have here is the same as this one which is 30 degrees but remember to get 15 we said we bisect 30 bisecting mean bisecting means we divide 30 into two equal parts so when we divide 30 by 2 we get 15 how do we divide by with the compass is what we call bisecting. So we center at that point, or you create your other arcs. But since I have this arc, this point, and that point, which are the same distance from there, I can use them as my uh, centers. They are the same distance from my starting point. The distance from here to there is the same distance from there to there. So I don't need to make other arcs. I will use the very arcs there. Then I may reduce because when I leave it will be the same arc here. So I reduce or increase to create, to describe an arc there. Then with the center here, I also construct another arc. And the arcs are clearly meeting. So joining. Each time your pencil gets blunt, you please sharpen it. And when you are drawing, you don't repeat. You just draw once. If things are not clear, you erase carefully and we do. So we have bisected the angle of 30 degrees to get two, angle, um, two angles of 15, one above and then that one below. Then we indicate one of them and indicate the one that is below. That connects to your starting line. So that angle that we have uh, constructed is an angle of 15 degrees. Now, for the mathematics lovers, I know the class I have loves mathematics, you can even construct seven and a half, because when you divide 15 by two, you'll get seven and a half. So you can get seven and a half by simply dividing, placing the compass here and here, then make X here and you join. The smaller angle there will be seven and a half. So you can play with the compass and the ruler to get any angle. Um, now, 165. 165. Let us see. 180. That is a straight line angle. When we subtract, we want to see what angle should we construct in order for us to get 165. Now I'm giving you a trick. In case you are given an angle and you are not sure of what angle you must construct, subtract or divide. So now we are subtracting 180, take away 165. And um, we shall have 5, 1, Ah, okay. Now I have subtracted, and we have seen that um, the supplement of 165 is 15 degrees. There you begin smiling. Do I know how to construct 15 degrees? Yes, we have seen it here. So you say, oh, if I want to construct 165, I must construct 15 degrees. 
So let us construct 15 degrees and we see how the 165 comes. Draw your starting line, mark a starting point. That starting point may not be necessarily put in the middle of the line. After marking your starting point, center your compass at that starting point, draw the angle of 60 or construct the angle of 60. I will repeat as many times as I can that when I join this, when I draw a line joining that point, that will be 60 degrees. But I don't want to congest my work with very many lines, so I leave it at that. After constructing that 60 degrees, I will use this and that as my centers to construct 30 degrees. By, that means I'm bisecting 60 to get 30 degrees. 30 degrees. 30 degrees. But what angle are we constructing? 15. Why are we constructing 15? We want to get 165, the supplement of 15. So, with our 30 degrees already constructed, we now need to bisect it. Let me make it wider. The way when you make it very wide, the point may not clearly be seen. So when we join, my meeting point of the arc is there. Uh -huh. Yeah, better. So now we have the angle of 15 down here. But that's not the angle that we are asked to construct to want 165. So from this line, curving this side, the angle constructed is 165. Because when we add 165 plus 15, shall get angles on a straight line. So use your compass, pair of compasses, a ruler and a sharp pencil to play with these angles. Uh, now finally, let us look at this angle of 75. I call it a special angle because it combines two mother angles. One mother angle is 60 degrees, another one is 90 degrees. So how do we construct this one? Here you must be very careful and very attentive. Now, step one, you have your pencil, draw a starting line. Draw a starting line, mark a starting point and construct an angle of 90 degrees. I repeat, construct the angle of 90 degrees. This time, this is what you are going to do. That big arc, but before I make the arcs above here, I will use the same rad radius, use the same radius. That means don't change your radius and mark the, make these two arcs. That arc and that arc. Yes, we are constructing the angle of 75 degrees. Then after we can now adjust our radius. After adjusting the radius, we, may, we draw the other arcs. Those two arcs, join them normally, like we uh, joined when we were constructing the angle of 90 degrees. Now, what is the use of these arcs that we made? Remember, if we joined here, if we drew a line joining there, the angle below there would be 60 degrees. People who know mathematics may know how to divide and add. If we draw a line like this, 
that angle will be 60 degrees. And remember the entire angle is 90 degrees, meaning that what we have in the middle here, the angle that we have in between this arc and that line is 30 degrees because the other one is 60. So what happens? Center here, bisect the 30. Bisect the 30. In the middle there to get 15. Now, that means we have 90, the entire angle is 90, but when we remove this 15, what remains on this side is 75 degrees. And if we wanted to construct 105, you take, you construct 75 and take that side. I will repeat the construction of 75 here. Draw your starting line, mark a starting point, construct your angle of 90, draw that same circular arc, that is. But before making the other big arcs, using the same radius, Mark off the arcs of 60. Those arcs are for 60. Mark off the arcs for 60. When I join here, the angle there is 60. When we join there, the angle is 60. So mark off the arcs of 60, and then adjust to now draw, to draw your 90 degrees. The right word is to construct when we are using a compass. So, join. Like that. This, when we join a line, when we draw a line like this, the angle formed there is 60. Meaning that the angle there is 30. So it is this 30 that we are going to divide by 2 to bisect, to get 15. Bisect this 30. Let me bit erase this a little bit. Bisect this 30. This time I've constructed it on the left. To get 15 degrees. So this small angle here between this line and this major line is 15 degrees, but the entire angle was 90. So when we remove the 15 degrees, what remains this side is 75 degrees. And what is on the other side from this line here, going the other side, going that side, from that line going that side, is 105 degrees. Which means when they ask us to construct 105 degrees, simply construct 75 degrees, but instead of writing the 75, don't write the 75, write the uh, 105 degrees from that line going the other side. You have been a very wonderful class. Thank you very much. Next time we meet, we shall look at how to construct uh, triangles. May God bless you. Be safe.